Good evening, Arizona. I'm Patty Kirkpatrick. The FBI is combing through thousands of documents removed from that polygamous compound near El Dorado, Texas. And now Arizona investigators are getting involved, hoping that those documents may help in the prosecution of so-called polygamous prophet Warren Jeffs. Mike Wakis joins us with the story. Mike? Yes, indeed, Patty. The headlines out of Texas continue to have a big impact here in the state of Arizona. Certainly among Warren Jeff's thousands of followers along the Utah-Arizona border. Also among lawyers now involved in Mr. Jeff's criminal prosecution in Mojave County. And today a very visceral reaction to all of this from Arizona's top lawyer, Attorney General Terry Goddard, who told me this morning that he continues to monitor the situation in Texas very closely. You want to strike back. A strong gut reaction from Arizona Attorney General Terry Goddard today concerning the dramatic and still unfolding events in West Texas and the allegations of child abuse inside Warren Jeff's YFZ compound. Our biggest interest is is there anything in what they swept through the temple and the other sites where they seize documents that might be of evidentiary value in the Warren Jeffs trial. Arizona officials now in direct contact with Texas law officers after Mojave County Special Investigator Gary Angles, the man there on the left in the blue shirt, and Attorney General Special Prosecutor Tim Linens traveled to Texas to assist in the investigation late last week. The two men, part of Mojave County Attorney Matt Smith's team, handling the prosecution of polygamous prophet Warren Jeffs and Gary Angles, perhaps the most knowledgeable law officer in the country when it comes to Jeffs and his FLDS following. Now, I understand anecdotally that there is that there's information there that shows specific directives coming from Jeffs and the hierarchy of the FLDS saying how they want people to proceed with what we consider underage marriages. Uh, that would be an important piece of evidence if we can get our hands on it. We also asked Goddard about the different tactics being employed here in Arizona and Utah where individual men like Warren Jeffs are being indicted and prosecuted and the more sweeping tactics being employed by cops down in Texas. And they did it in a very different context from what we have in Arizona. They have at El Dorado a sealed compound where people, law enforcement couldn't get in and take a look around, people couldn't get out. And as a result, I hate to call Colorado City an open community, but it is far more open than El Dorado is. And as a result, when you had a possibility of abuse against one child, you had to think seriously if others in the same position were also being harmed. So, Patty, the headline to this story, evidence collected in Texas may end up helping the prosecutors here in the state of Arizona. Prosecutor Matt Smith up in Kingman. Stay tuned for developments on that front. But uh, clearly, uh, it continues to have a, a resounding impact in all of the states where the FLDS communities have now taken root. Mike, uh, we've just learned from the Associated Press that uh, all 139 women who uh, we reported earlier had been taken to a different larger shelter have now been taken back to the YFZ, the Yearning for Zion Ranch. Um, a lot of and, interesting tactics yeah. developed. They're clearly still trying to find the 16-year-old girl and a, a very knowledgeable source we know here, Flora Jessup, sort of theorized today that that young woman may be among that group, but she said in the documents that when she was being beaten by her husband, another sister wife was holding her baby. Well, you know, it's likely that the 16-year-old is there in those shelters. Another woman has her baby. The 16-year-old is aware of that, and she is terrified, not only for her own safety, but she may never see that child again. So uh, investigators down there really have their hands full trying to figure out who's who and what's what, uh, and a lot of forces working against them. Yeah, so the women are, are back at the ranch, but the children still remain in, in a shelter. Thank you very much for that, uh, Mike, with that latest information.